Hello, check, check, check. Alexander here. High Winds EDC. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, everybody? Alexander here, High Winds EDC, and this will be the first Oceanside review. That's right. I'm coming to you live. 200 yards behind me is a beautiful ocean. I'm not going to go right there. There's a lot of people sunbathing, and I don't have a tripod, so you're just going to get what you get. So the first review that we have by the ocean side is going to be the Milwaukee Fastback, famously called the uh, 1505. This is the multi-tool version, so it's got the primary uh, blade and it's got a driver on the tail end. Uh, they also have a uh, lanyard hole right by the driver. The driver is a locking mechanism style uh, liner lock right here. You got an extra compartment for uh, an extra blade, which is also held in by a liner right here. Sorry. And yeah, so I have an extra blade in there right now. I need to be very careful. I don't want to cut myself. So you just kind of pull it out. It takes a little bit of uh, persuasion to get this thing out sometimes, but I mean, it's still good uh, for what it is. Sorry, I'm really trying. It may just be kind of corroded in place right now, so I'll leave it alone. It is a button lock uh, fastback. Uh, it does have a bottle opener here. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. Uh, it's got a little safety um, warning. You know, always use safety shades or always use safety eyewear right there. Um, so it's a really good little tool. Very ergonomic, especially whenever you're having to cut into stuff. Uh, more often than not, um, I mean, it's really good. It's a good utility blade. This thing is worth its weight in gold. We'll flip this around. Actually, I don't need to yet. It's not that dull. Uh, but I've been uh, in the middle of a move, so I've been cutting down a lot of boxes, which is not something that I usually do. Usually I just break them down, fold them up or whatever. But uh, we're using uh, our movers packed everything into wardrobe boxes. So they could be anywhere from, you know, three and a half feet tall to almost as tall as I am, which is like five foot six. So not very tall, but still. Um, so I have to cut those down actually. Otherwise they won't fit in my in the trunk of my uh, Yukon uh, so I can take them to a roll off nearby. But yeah, I've been having to use this a lot. I've also, let, let, me, let me start from the beginning. I got this through uh, the Texas Department of Transportation. Um, it was kind of issued to us on our crew. We needed them a lot getting into um, joint sealant when I was working on the bridge division. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I really appreciate it. And you know, I put a lot of hard use on it and stuff. Um, you can see like it's got a lot of paint. It's got a lot of um, some of the white and gray stuff. That's the sealant that leaked on it. Um, it's kind of just beat up. And I carry this thing every day to work now because now I am in a water mitigation position with the local company. And uh, in that company, uh, uh, we, we have to do a lot of drywall demolition, uh, especially when there's a water leak, a sewage leak, uh, any kind of water, rainwater that may have fallen from a roof into your drywall, I have to cut out a lot. So um, to make initial cuts or small cuts, I use the Milwaukee Fastback. Um, if it's something like a, a larger piece of drywall, then we use like an oscillator or like one of those multi-tools that you see. Um, so th it's good, it's all good stuff. But this, I use it pretty much every day now. I also keep with me uh, to have with this a, uh, a multi-tool, the Leatherman Rebar, which I will have a review coming out on this. I'm starting to use it a lot more uh, now that I'm in this new position. And so, yeah, I'll be able to give you guys an actual consistent review on this, but I'm, I'm not ready for that yet, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I do love the driver on this one. The one that it comes with is a double-sided detent uh, driver. So it's got a Phillips P2 and a flathead. Uh, this flathead could be skinnier because one thing that I'm using, uh, one thing that I'm running into is whenever I'm doing face plates for uh, outlet covers and for light switches, is it's too thick for those uh, smaller style screws. So I may just um, opt to go look for a new one at, uh, at the Home Depot or something and just switch it out. Uh, it is held together with the detent and it's a very strong detent. I've never had any issues with it. Uh, if you get it out right, you can single hand deploy this thing and uh, continue and you can uh, put it away with one hand but you have to use your body as well uh, obviously the button lock is really good the action's great it runs on phosphorus bronze washers and i don't think i'll ever take it apart honestly 
um, just because it, it is what it is. It, uh, I think these retail now for like, you can get a two pack for $19 at the Home Depot. Uh, it's really good. I'm telling you guys, this thing is a God tier multi-tool, uh, especially like, uh, I, I mean, there's so many reviews already out on this. I just wanted to give mine uh, nuance to it. I have tried out the, uh, um, like the hook style blades. I don't like them as much as I thought I would. Uh, the serrated razor blades, I love those. I hadn't been able to come across another pack of those uh, in my day-to-day -day affairs, but as soon as I do, I'll pick up another pack of serrated blades for this thing. These, the serrated blades I really like for this because they don't dull as fast and they cut really well still. Uh, I've only used two, maybe one or two uh, serrated blades, and I think I wanna go back to serrated blades and just still have like a, fixed, uh, a straight edge um, style utility blade in here. And so I really like it. Uh, I tuck it into my back right pocket. Uh, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I don't need it because in my front right pocket, I do carry my main pocket knife, uh, which is right now the Auto Machine Company Roosevelt. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's my full review of it. I really like it. Uh, um, I would suggest anybody grab one if you're looking to get into a utility thing. Uh, to see if you use a util if you would use a utility style blade. Um, Let's do some size comparisons real quick. Here it is closed up against a Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. It's a bit bigger. It's it's really thick too. So like this is a, the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt is a thin, thin knife all the way through. But this thing is just a chunky boy. But I mean, it's all plastic construction, a little, uh, stainless steel liners on the inside that run all the way through. Um, and uh, we'll do a, all the way open. And it's shorter than the um, Roosevelt. So there is that. So it looks like in hand, my small hands here. And yeah, it's got a, a wire deep pocket carry clip, but this still sticks out. I will say that every now and then um, this rubs up against things. So you have to be very, very careful if you're like pressing your body up against a wall or against a, a vehicle of some sort so you don't scratch. Uh, whatever you're rubbing up against uh, and that does kind of sting same thing with this top part here that's what sticks out of your pocket uh, you just need to be very mindful of uh, where you're putting your body when you're carrying this thing uh, especially if you're in other people's homes or something like that you wouldn't want to mess up their paint their drywall or whatever the case may be um, yeah so i really like it the button lock one-handed appointment is really good like i said it runs on washers so the action is never it took a while to break in i'm not gonna lie and it took me a while to get used to it. But other than that, it's good to go. Um, that's really all I have for you on that. If you guys uh, have any questions, please uh, comment down below. It's a short review because uh, there's a lot that's already been said about it. Um, I don't think I can add anything new to it because, I mean, it is uh, beating the dead horse with a, with a stick, honestly, on that one. But guys, I really appreciate you. Um, thank you for this first Oceanside review. Uh, I will do like maybe a live on Instagram where we can do like a Q&A on, on the move and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty like my, my furniture and stuff's here. I'm here to stay, guys. I'm here in, uh, in, uh, in the East Coast. I'm an East Coast man now uh, for a while, at least I don't know. Also, I got another one of these. These are pretty cool. These are Olight uh, uh, clips. I got another one. Uh, that's how useful they are, especially in my line of work. Just a little while ago, we uh, were in a, uh, setting up new light fixtures inside of a bathroom and uh, so I cut the, um, the breaker on it and uh, so this is just coming handy because boom, boom I have light and uh, this is how I carry it pretty much every single day but yeah uh, if you guys have any questions down in the comments let me know uh, yeah thanks bye